If asked how many steps you should aim for in a day, I'd guess you'd say something like 10,000. Well, no surprise, because this has been touted so often and run down our throats that this is what we need. And anything short of this is just no good. But what does the latest research actually say about this? What's the actual optimal amount to be getting? And what is the minimum we should be aiming for in a day? Well, we have it all covered for you in the next few minutes all in this video. And I can tell you, neither of them is 10,000 steps. So what are we actually looking at here? What is step count actually helping with? Well, in a study from September 2023, it looked at a relationship between daily step count and all-cause mortality, as in how many steps will give you the biggest bang for your buck in terms of stopping things from causing your death, and also at reducing cardiovascular events. And these cardiovascular events can still kill you, but some may not, but can cause a lot of suffering and impact on life, like a stroke or a heart attack. And I was really surprised by how much it can help with these. Obviously, doing more steps isn't going to protect you from a car accident or other things that may kill you, so you couldn't get a 100% reduction, but it was a much higher reduction for the optimal step count than I thought it would be. So the reason there's a minimal and optimal is because the relationship of these to step count isn't linear. If you look on these graphs here from the study, it shows you don't get continued benefit the more and more steps you do in a day. So the minimum amount will start to make a difference compared to not getting that. And then getting more steps than the optimal would give reducing returns. And there was one factor that made a really big difference regardless of step count, which we'll discuss in a second. It was a really big study, including over 111,000 people to work this out and of good quality as a systematic review and meta-analysis, so up there in the evidence hierarchy. So what did it all show? Well, starting with all-cause mortality, first it showed that the minimum amount of steps you want to be getting to start making a difference with this is 2,517, and the optimal dose being 8,763. And this optimal amount gave a 60% reduction in all-cause mortality, which is madness. I knew doing steps was a big thing, but didn't realize it had this much of an impact for longevity. Now, if you did 16,000 steps, so nearly double the optimal, you'd only get a further 5% improvement. So 65% reduction overall, which is great, but it starts showing the minimizing return the more that you're doing. So that 8,763 appears to be the optimal number, but there's an important aspect alongside to get even more out of it, which we'll discuss. But first, let's look at the amount needed for reducing cardiovascular events. And not surprisingly, these weren't a million miles away. So the minimum was 2,735, and optimal was 7,126, which gave a 51% reduction, which is still massive, I can't believe it's that high for seemingly not the greatest number of steps. You will get further benefit the more you do, but again, with minimizing returns. So 16,000 steps gives about a 58% reduction. So what about the other factors that needs considering to get an even higher benefit from those step counts? And all these findings are independent of sex, but the additional benefits come from step cadence, irrespective of step count. So if you're doing a slow plot to get the optimal step count, you're missing out on additional benefits compared to if you were doing it at a faster pace. So it doesn't seem you need as high as 10,000 steps a day. Great if you can get that, but you basically want to be getting at least 2,800 steps a day, but aiming for around 8,800 in total. 